Good morning, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I just got a phone call from Carol, my wife. She, they're back in Mercer Island. They spent the overnight at some island off the coast of Seattle, some resort. Uh, she called me yesterday because she was in some small little used bookstore there on the island and looking at the biographies in she listed some biographies if I wanted them. There was a biography on, for example, on Philip Dick that I didn't have and two other biographies. So she got me three used biographies. See, my wife knows that her husband loves books and especially biographies. Biographies, memoirs, letters, it's what I'm really into. That's why I think I keep a diary is because it's my biography, even though no one's ever going to read it because everybody who knows me will have their own memories of who I am. And uh, so, yeah, she called and we talked and told her I'm feeling better this morning. She said on Facebook that people had this 24 hour virus and so I woke up this morning feeling better, but I'm kind of holding my breath because I don't want to have a relapse. So yeah, but this morning I had a bowl of oatmeal. I made some coffee. I didn't have any coffee yesterday. I had some weak tea in the morning. So yeah, it's a Sunday. It's a new week. and. Uh, so I got up this morning and got my books out to read and uh, I was reading Embracing Contemplation, Reclaiming the Christian Spiritual Practice. I'm really enjoying this and uh, I got out to that Christian warrior wrestling with sin, Satan, the world and the flesh by Isaac Ambrose. I was telling Carol over the phone, it's kind of like when I'm alone here, especially when I'm kind of sick and going through one of my depressions. I get kind of like I'm wrestling with the devil. <laughs> That's what I feel like at times. I'm really, it's just... But it's kind of like I'm kind of reminded that like it says and um, there it says in Ephesians. Uh, the Apostle Paul says in Ephesians, kind of my mind, he says, Finally, this is in chapter 6 of the epistle of Ephesians. Now remember, the Apostle Paul, he was just an ordinary guy. He was an apostle. He was called to proclaim the gospel of God to Gentiles and Jews, to the whole world. We see that in the epistle of Romans. And But we also read here that he wrote to the church in Ephesus. He wrote in chapter 6. Now He says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand, withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having girded on, girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, which will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Praying and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And for me, that utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I'm an ambassador in chains, that, it, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. So it's, it's kind of, it just struck me 
about the fiery darts of the wicked one and, and wrestling with spiritual powers of darkness and um, that we are in a spiritual warfare. So what do we do? Well, we put on the armor of God. And uh, so that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm reading the Bible. <laughs> it says here, uh, Take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. This is the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, the Bible. So I'm engaging in spiritual warfare, and i got to stand. That's what I was thinking about. What do you do when you you know everything just seems to go you know you stay you look into this darkness you look into this this void what do you do you stand and you put your faith in Christ and um, so that's what I've been doing praying I always think of that there in the Gospels it says oh um, Anyway, it's something about weak faith. If you have faith as a, as small as the grus, mustard seed, that you can move mountains. <laughs> My faith is even smaller than a mustard seed. And all I can do is look to Christ alone in the midst of my darkness and despair and doubts. <laughs> But I was thinking, I was also, I got out Isaac Ambrose this morning and I was reading this and I thought I would just read it, not only for for my own edification and helping me in the midst of my battles. He says, uh, Faith must not only go to Christ as quickened by the Spirit, but as going up into glory, as sitting down at God's right hand and as ascending the Holy Spirit. Faith should I Christ as far as he goes. If he be descended, so should faith. If you go into glory, sit down there and there act for his people. So should faith. So should we in the way of believing follow after him and take a view, view of all his transactions where he is. We have heard before how faith should go to Christ as dying and rising again, but yet faith is low while it does not go within the veil. With see him in glory, it is not enough to have only a faith of justification, but of glorification. So come, so so come to let us see Christ in heaven, and we can have no less than a glorious faith. How many are there that never yet came to act faith in Christ as a glorified Christ? We are yet still in the lower form. Many of us take in no more of Christ than what was done on the cross, or what some natural and common resemblance of him can hold forth. We seldom follow Christ into heaven to see that he is see what he is doing there for us. O oh, my soul, O oh, my faith, mount up and be on the wing. Christ is gone up to heaven. Christ is set down at the God's right hand. Christ has sent down his Holy Spirit. See, I have to believe that. In the midst of all my confusion and darkness and, and struggles of faith, that when Christ has sent it, he sent down the Holy Spirit. Christ has sent down his Holy Spirit to this purpose. It was expedient that he should go away, and, how, and now he has gone away to do something that remains to be done for thee in his kingdom. He has still some glorious peace to frame for thy salvation. Therefore he left this world, went to his Father, that he might act it, act it in glory. Now he is invested with all the riches in heaven. He has all the keys of heaven and hell. He has all power to command. He has received all the promises to himself, and all that he has to do it is to let out of himself again unto his saints. He has not only got his Father's heart for them, but he has got all his riches to bestow upon them. When he came to heaven, the Father bid him to sit down at his right hand, take what he would, and bestow what he would upon his saints. Thereupon he gave gifts unto men, yea, he gave the gifts of gifts, even the Holy Ghost himself. And what art thou not a partaker of this gift? 
Oh, then look up unto Jesus in reference to all these actings. Set him before thee. Christ in all his particulars is at, is at the right object for thy faith to act upon. So that's why you got to look up to Jesus and, and pray for the fullness of God to come down. Pray for the Holy Spirit in the midst of your struggles, in the midst of the battle and the wrestling that the Holy Spirit has been sent out in all his plenitude, all his fullness. And that's what you got to believe when you go through this, this wasteland of this world. Uh, so that's what's on my mind this morning. I'm a Christian warrior. I'm wrestling with sin, Satan, the world, and the flesh. But I also got out, this is another great book. I'm not going to read from it. The Glory of the Redeemer by Octavius Winslow. I was reading him this morning on the glory of the Redeemer and the salvation of his people. So these kind of things I got to read as I go through my uh, my afflictions, my spiritual wrestlings. So today, yeah, it's 11.59 here on a Sunday morning going on noon. It is March the 10th. It is 70 degrees inside the Hermit Hut. I'm feeling better. Hopefully it I will continue to feel better throughout the day and through the rest of the week. So I hope you're having a good Sunday morning. As far as my diary, I'm on page 219 for the year 2019. Yeah, and uh, so I just thought I'd share these thoughts with you. And yeah. So it says here, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Till next time, bye.